What's up, chat? So here's a film breakdown I did on your game. First, I did a SWOT analysis. So your strengths are finishing in the low post with your right hand. Your weaknesses are your left hand, ball handling in space, and a lack of threat from three. Your opportunities are being able to finish with that left hand plus counters in the low mid post, as well as becoming a knockdown catch and shoot shooter from three. And then your threats, you're too predictable in the low post, almost always go drop step to the right if you can't make open threes as well as careless with the ball. So next, the numbers of your weaknesses. I only counted one finishing attempt with the left hand, so I'd like to see you try that more, as well as you only took nine catch and shoot shots and shot 22%. So next, two to three main areas of improvement. Like I said, your drop step is super effective to the right. However, it's very predictable and they end up game planning for it and taking charges and, and doubling you there. So a couple counters, being able to make wide open catch and shoot threes, even if you can get to 30%, it'll help a lot as well as the mid post face-up series, maybe a jab series, load step series, just adding a couple new moves to the bag. So how to improve low post, the main thing I see is lack of counters plus unwillingness to use your left hand. So we will add counters plus your left as well as catch and shoot. We'll fix some mechanical issues and get you feeling confident. The main thing with you is gonna be finding the seams every time. So here's some clips of you avoiding using your left hand. So here you kind of have left side, you avoid it, Go back to the right, you do get fouled. Same kind of thing here. Great rebound, could have went up on the left, kind of go back to the right. Even though you get fouled, you make life a lot harder for yourself. Again, spin back right into the double, could have went left. So here's how, where you're too predictable plus lack of counters. So I'm gonna show you a lot of your clips of your drop step to the right, which again, like I said, is very effective. But you're gonna notice the other team starts game planning and scouting against you, which cause you to be less effective. So some of these clips here, you're gonna to start to see some double teams. This girl takes a charge on you because she's expecting it, they didn't call it. But another one, drop step again, they have that double team ready. So here's catch and shoot. So I think a lot of this is going to be reps and confidence. I think you have so much time. So again, really taking your time I do want to fix some mechanical things like I saw today in the workout where you do need to find the seams as much as possible because when you found the seams, you made it a lot more. And then I also think just making it smoother and kind of eliminating that hitch. So we're going to continue to work on that. So the second dribble, I think this is going to be super effective for you. A lot of times you only take one dribble to the rim, which causes you to get bumped off your line like you see here. Another one, one dribble, you get bumped off your line. Let's see. This was actually pretty solid. You take multiple dribbles, bump into her. Let's see this one. Not bad, only one dribble though. So here's Joel Embiid using a second dribble to really bump his defender. Again, boom, second dribble. You're gonna bump. This one was actually really good. Did a hard second dribble, got the space. Again, one dribble hard, second dribble bump. So here's some counters and moves you can add. So I would really like to see a hop jump shot there. So instead of kind of hop going into two defenders, maybe a hop fade in the middle of the paint. Could be a great one for you. Here's Joel kind of hopping and then up and under. This one I'd like to see you keep your dribble alive and then maybe get to one of those counters. You do do a great job of resealing though and finishing. Or getting fouled. Now they didn't call it. Again, maybe another counter here, a little half spin. Jab J. What's this one? Drop, dribble, spin. Just some different counters that you can add to the bag so that you don't just do that drop step to the right every time. So overall, I think if you can use your left hand, add some counters and become even a decent three point shooter, I think you're gonna really have a great off season and be a huge impact player next season.